Welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you <clears throat> with a pour on a, I think it's called a hexagon. Yes, focus on the good. <laughs> Definitely. I'm doing a voiceover because yeah, I've got a bit of a crook throat again. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, yeah, got a bit of a sore throat. So I'm doing a bit of a voiceover, so please excuse me. Um, yeah, this is a nice big canvas and I am um, yeah, excited to pour on it. It's going to be my rare and exotic. Um, I think I'm going to do a series of rare and exotic. So, to, you know, my interpretation of it. So this is going to be a rare and exotic uh, summer garden or fantasy garden for sure. So what I'm using there is my uh, metallic silver and it had it, it had white added into the silver for the base. So, and I give, well, no, this particular one, because it's got the metallic in it, is very shimmery. So it gives a really nice glistening finish. Um, so yeah, I, it's um, a really nice, um, yeah, a really nice luster in it. So I'm just going ahead and completely coating that canvas and I will be doing the sides as well. to <clears throat> start layering my colours on the bottom end of my um, fantasy garden. So this is just white. All the colours that I'm using today are the global impasto paints, but I'm pretty sure that um, if you are not got those paints, that the colours that you use will be just equally as good if you find um, yeah, you can't find them in your country that you're in. You can certainly get them in Australia on the link below um, and they will be available overseas and Europe um, on Amazon by the end of the month, so I'm told. So, yeah, so that was a bit of turquoise that I had left. Now I'm using some um, blue. It may be, it's not phalo blue, I'm not 100% sure. I think it was just, uh, it, it's actually the fluoro blue in the um, global range. Kind of looks like um, cyan, is it? I can't remember the word of it. But yeah, I'm just going along and layering these colors as you see. So we're now into the uh, red and the, um, which is cool red. And this is the bright yellow, which are really bright, vibrant colors. So they're gonna make this canvas really pop. So you're just layering them, taking your time, just enjoy the process for sure. This is my Berry Delicious. This is a custom colour that I make out of 
either use the darkest red or magenta then add phalo blue this one i just added those two colors if you'd like the uh, dark cherry mauvey purpley look to go even darker then add a little bit of black and but it is certainly a delicious color and uh, that's what that one is that i'm using Just add in a bit more of the base coat of that um, silver ready for the next stage that I'm going to do on this piece <coughs> so um, yeah and I will just um, even that paint out a little bit even though the acrylic usually does self level um, you know when it's drying it kind of self levels out and sometimes I don't even mind uh, leaving some sort of textured bits in your paint i'm not one for perfect i like there to be a, a bit of the personality in the painter should i call it yeah the personality in the painter and i'm anything but perfect but so i don't you know i don't want my work to be so and it, you lot far less stress on yourself if you uh, look at it that way i believe so yeah just continuing to um yeah give it a even out and i will now get my um this is a stainless steel straw and i'm just using it to just soften those edges blow those edges out so that's what i'm doing at this present time So at this stage, I've gotten just a little piece of card that I've cut up. And what I'm showing you there is Amsterdam black mixed with Floetrol only. I've just got a little container so I can use it for these Aussie card slides. And they just give the most lovely um, lacing effects in those card slides using the Aussie Floetrol. Now I've had lots of questions. Does any, other, any paint do that? I believe that if you uh, mix any paint with the flow troll on its own and you swipe you will get certainly get lacing it's just for whatever reason that the uh, Amsterdam paint seems to give lacing you know over lacing overload should I say you know lots of lovely lace lots of lovely lace so that's what I'm doing with that I'm just taking that through some of the colors so I'm taking some of the colors up and when I come down close to the painting in a minute with the camera, you will see the truly beautiful effects that it really helps create.
doing a test with, I've put some of the paint down there for a swipe color. So that one is the black with, with Floetrol in it. And I just wanted to see if that's what color I wanted to go across my whole work with was either that or white. So um, yeah, I was testing out decision because it looks very dark right there, but then when you start embellishing it with balloon kisses, there's not much of that dark background left. So after uh, trying that, the white swipe, the uh, swiping with white, I was quite happy that I liked the black side. So um, then I continue on with a little bit of the black uh, to do the swipe because I'm quite happy with that. So here we go with this magic, magic balloon art. I love it, love it, love it. And that's why I do it, because I love it. So um, you can just get some awesome effects with that balloon that look like you spend hours painting petals. And all it is is the humble balloon doing the artwork for you. Um, it's therapeutic, it's, it's kind to the canvas, it's very enjoyable and as you all know if you follow my art that I just love this work with the balloon and never two times is it the same, they're all different because you just do different compositions. I'm very happy as well that I chose that dark background because all of these colours are just going to pop that I already have layered under there, as you will see as I go along. So I'm just merrily going along with my balloon and enjoying it. So if you're new to the balloon, um, using the balloon in your art, then it is an art in itself, getting used to the paint consistency does have to be correct so the paint doesn't all fall in. Um, and if that starts to happen, you get in, you know, leave the canvas for a good half an hour and then come back and try ballooning it again then. Um, and the paint is absorbed into the canvas and can give you the desired effect. If it's just completely falling in a mushy, then you haven't got your paint consistency correct to start with. Um, so it's obviously not too thick and not too thin when you're ballooning this way. So I just 
go on with my balloon and um, having a right old merry old time with it all. So I hope you enjoy. So here is the close-ups of this rare and exotic fairy garden. As you can see those um, Aussie slides, the swipes that I did with the um, Amsterdam, it's just Amsterdam paint and Floetrol, they always get this amazing lace in them. And as you can see, even the grey background base paint is very shimmery because I put the um, iridescent medium in. Then these gorgeous um, areas that I blew with the straw. They just add so much <laughs> detail. Looks like you're a fine artist, but it's basically the easy way, isn't it? And then I've continued with balloon kisses with the bigger balloon, and then I've done some smaller balloon um, kisses on top. So it's just brought out the whole rare and lovely fairy garden, rare and exotic garden in Jilly Cube land. So there you go. I will put some photos on at the end. Um, this is one that I will definitely, if it dries perfect, of course, I will resin and as the other one that I did in this same fairy garden for my brother and his wife. This will again be a gift for one of my friends that loved my other one. So there you go. So thank you so much guys for joining me today and until tomorrow I'll be back. So take care, have fun with whatever you're doing and uh, yeah, stay safe. Bye for now.